So Stryker is the name of our visor projected family of helmet mounted displays. Visor projected means that the display literally is projected here onto the visor so that the pilot uh, looks through the visor and has the imagery, whether that's symbology or video, overlaid on his view of the real world. So he looks through the display and sees this uh, wide field of view, high definition display on the visor of the helmet. The helmet itself provides all the protection uh, that, that the pilot needs. Um, very lightweight, comfortable for a long, long mission. Uh, and as I say, with the information provided now in his field of view in a see-through display. Um, the, the current generation Striker is in service on the, the Typhoon and the Gripen aircraft. And at Farmer International Air Show 2014, we're introducing Striker 2. The Striker 2 really builds upon uh, the pedigree of the Striker product, but adds add some uh, enhanced features and, and capability. Striker 1 had an optical tracking system, and what you can see on the back here are LEDs or light emitting diodes. And positioned within the, the cockpit of the aircraft is a camera which now then looks down. So as the pilot sits in the aircraft and his head position moves, um, that it tracks his head position. The camera can work out from the from the LEDs exactly where the pilot is looking and work out the pilot's line of line of sight. Now, Striker 2 introduces an inertial component into that tracking. So we now have a hybrid tracker, an opto inertial tracker. And with the addition of, of the inertial component, uh, as well as the optical tracking, you can now predict where the pilot's head is moving through inertia, through inertial measurement. Um, and as a result of that, you can further enhance the accuracy of the tracking and remove what is called latency. So latency, if there's, if there's any delay between the pilot's head moving and the imagery catching up, then you'll get a, a jitter or you'll get a swimming effect, which is very disorientating for the pilot. Some of those effects um, were well publicized during the F-35 uh, program. So um, we've never had any of those issues with our um, Striker product and Striker 2 with this opto inertial tracking just further enhances that and makes it virtually, virtually um, latency free. Now that's really important for uh, overlaying the video and also the accuracy of, of, of tracking targets. So for the Striker 2 we have a single digital night vision camera positioned just above the centre of the eye in what we call a cyclops position and then the image from that camera processed in the, in the helmet and then displayed on his visor. So that gives the pilot night vision acuity without night vision goggles. So for most, most helmet mounted displays in the market today, and certainly for Striker 1, at night it required the addition of NVGs, or night vision goggles. The NVG was fixed onto the front of the helmet, it adds mass to the hear and also changes the centre of gravity. And over a prolonged period that introduces some stress and discomfort for a pilot. So for a aircraft such as Typhoon that can operate with 9G at 9G, at night with night vision goggles it would restrict the aircraft to approximately 5G. But now Striker 2 with an inboard digital night vision camera and no NVGs there's no restriction and he can fly with a single helmet whether he's flying day or night in all weather conditions including darkness um, with, with, with all of that provided with, with the same fully integrated helmet mounted display system.